lovely people it's Kida with images by Papillon a film and photo boutique based out of Houston Texas uh, it's day two of my daily video challenge and I'm telling you I am cutting it close but um, today I decided to do just a little quick edit of a photo that I took exactly a year ago when my daughter and I went to New York for her 16th birthday so yeah, I am by no means a retoucher. Please do not be confused. I am just a photographer. Um, but um, I do edit my own photos and um, I just wanted to show you how I do that. So usually I bring my images into Lightroom and do batch edits. Um, but since I'm just doing one, I opened it up in Camera Raw. And I'm just gonna show you what I go through um, to make my images um, the way I like them so as you know there's you know 50 11 different ways to do this but everybody has their own taste right so I'm just gonna do this according to my taste and it's probably not it's not gonna be this exact same as how I did it when I edited this image the first time but uh, whoop, we'll get it as close as possible whoop. The thing I love about these Adobe products is if you um, if you make a mistake, you can double click on the little slider bar and it'll bring you back to um, your default. So that's always good. When you make mistakes like I just did, nobody wants 100%, I mean 100 texture, that's too much. So, I mean, there are a lot of options in here and I really don't use a lot of them. I just use a few um, old faithfuls. And uh, I'm a creature of habit, I guess. Stick with what I know. So I just do basic, um, basic adjustments in either Lightroom or Camera Raw, and then um, do the details in Photoshop. And God bless all y'all that know how to talk and edit at the same time, because I'm telling you, I am confusing myself. <laughs> so if you hear me get a little quiet, that's why I'm not used to talking and editing at the same time. Okay, so I think these changes are good enough to start with. And I'm going to open it up. Here we have the image. I have been using this um, standard workflow <laughs> since 2016. It's just uh, a couple of the same things that I do on every image. I duplicate the layer, the base layer, the little levels, levels layer, and then um, there's a totally rad actions, a TRA. Um, they have a yin yang action. It's kind of like a dodge and burn, and I usually use that on everything. So made it into my own little action so that I don't have to reinvent the wheel every time so I basically just bring my blacks up a little bit bring my lights down just a little contrast boost um, and then I go in on the fine finer details um, like I said I'm not a retoucher by any means um, I just do what works for me so if y'all hear my mouse uh, sliding around, that's because my Wacom tablet decided to not be my friend anymore. So, and I haven't um, gotten around to troubleshooting or seeing what the issue is. And if you see these, um, like the little black hanging around from when I'm um, making my adjustments, isn't that the weirdest thing? My um, Photoshop just started doing that maybe like two months ago and it's updated. It's completely updated. So I don't know what the issue is, but I don't know. We live in real raggedy over here. <laughs> it's a little bootleg, but whatever. All I got to do is move the image around and they go away. So it's annoying, but it's nothing I can't do with. 
actually. That was a beauty marker. I need to get rid of that. So yeah, when I'm retouching, I try not to get rid of anything that's permanent because I'm not trying to change the person. I'm just trying to get rid of distractions. Um, little blemishes or um, things that pop up here and there. That's all I'm doing. Y'all, if this mouse is this mouse click is annoying you, I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is a raggedy over here, but that's okay. We make it work. So anyway, uh, we've been stuck in the house since March. How y'all doing? Y'all still making it? Y'all still love your family? <laughs> it gets a little trying at times. I know my kids like to turn up at 10 p.m. So I'm really actually kind of surprised it's quiet. They're all still awake though. Maybe not this face I'm working on. She's the one that knows how to go to sleep. But everybody else? Oh, you probably hear him in the background. That's my life. But yeah, so for those of you who do not know, I've got a tribe of four kids. Um, my oldest is a senior this year. Oh my gosh, this one that I'm working on now, she's a senior this year. And then I have a sophomore, and then I have a seventh grader, and I have a fifth grader. So that's wild to me. It's absolutely crazy. I remember when them little buggers just got here. Now look at them. I did not sign off on this. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah, so about this little video a day challenge. I do not know what in the world possessed me <laughs> to start this right now. I know I've been missing doing videos. We were, I was doing kind of, I was doing okay. Um, actually, a year ago is when I started with the you know, vlogs when we went to New York. Um, but then it slowed down around my birthday. I went on a trip with my sister and I was supposed to vlog that. I have so much back footage that I need to like get out. Um, it's all coming. It's all gonna be throwbacks. That's okay. No judgment, right? Or maybe a little bit, but you can keep it to yourself. <laughs> um, but yeah, everything, everything kind of slowed down. It's like, I don't know, I got sick. I got sick on New Year's Eve. I had to shoot New Year's Eve and then I got sick on New Year's. I shot on New Year's Eve. I had to do a um, photo and video for a performance. And I did that. And then the next day, I was just under the weather. And I was out for like a week. I mean, yeah, it was bad. I don't know. Flu or something. Uh, but then after that, I don't know. I just fell off from vlogging or videoing and uh and then corona <laughs> and everybody was in the house so it's like it's for me like i'm an introvert anyway so it's difficult for me to like do stuff like this when their ears and eyes around it's just really uncomfortable so with everybody in the house 24 7 it was just like when am i gonna do that either it's too noisy or they're around and i don't really want to do it so I don't know, but I was missing it. So I was like, uh, you just have to bite the bullet and get it done. So here we are. And I decided to jump in the deep end and challenge myself to do a video every day. And y'all look, it's 11.23. I'm supposed to post this before tomorrow. <laughs> Good luck to me. Okay. So I've just been like um, using the um, patch tool and content aware feature which is clutch for me um, just to kind of even out any um, uh, tone differences in her skin and um, y'all this photoshop is just boom. that's okay um, so yeah that's all I do it's just it's for me it's just about taking removing distractions um, things that'll take away from the focus of the picture um, I don't even say picture the fuck is of the image whatever um yeah so anything that kind of 
distracts me or pulls my eye from the main focal point I just try to get rid of or um, take the intensity away now this lady here I snapped at the wrong time I could have waited five seconds for her to move down the bridge but I didn't so now I gotta deal with her leg I'm not gonna get rid of all of her because it's like right behind her hair and I'm not I don't feel like dealing with that but what I will do is you know blur these colors out and make it less um, distracting and you know like I said I'm not a retoucher it's not perfect but it'll work for me And so I'm a fan of um, keyboard shortcuts. So I'll go back and forth. I'll, I'll go back and forth from the mouse to the keyboard in a second. Um, so I don't have to click around as much. But that looks a little wonky. Um, let's see. So it's just my history brush and then I can always take the patch tool and soften it up a little bit more. That'll do, I guess. I know y'all, ooh, sometimes it's a, you know, it's hit or miss. And I know there's probably some retouchers that'll see this and cringe, but it's okay. This ain't going nowhere. It's just my baby. And some, I don't know if this will work or not. Yeah, I think what I'll do for that pink piece is um, take the saturation down. And I'll just do it for that piece in particular. So I will command I and invert this and then take my brush on white, bring it up a bit and then just brush it over where that pink is so I can take that, take that pink away. Kids is what they're saying. I don't know if you get up. They're so funny. I'm just glad they're getting along. Okay, so that's less distracting. I get so caught up sometimes going back and forth between <laughs> befores and after. <laughs> like, okay, what did I do? I know this lady looks like she's floating around with no legs, but who cares? She's not the focal point. It's fine. <laughs> Don't worry. Oh, I'm still on that. You gotta switch your layer back, Kita. It's okay. <clears throat> so yeah. What else should we talk about? Uh -huh. Oh. Let me know if y'all have um, any ideas or anything y'all want to see from me. Um, let me know, because there's 31 days in August and this is only day two, so. <laughs> any suggestions are welcome. Okay, so for this little curl that's unruly and decided to puff up, I'm just gonna get rid of it. Goodbye, Fernando. Don't ask me why he's Fernando. I always name her girls. So don't know why. I'm weird like that. So we're just taking the clone tool and getting rid of this guy. It's um, hardness around 69. Um, opacity is at 80. And we're just going carefully and finding the curve of her curl. Um, just getting rid of that guy. 
he didn't want to cooperate anyway. And I'll probably bring this one down too. No need for you. And like I said, you know, this is all subjective anyway. You know, it's up to your eye and what you uh, what you want to see. So if it's client work and they have you know specific things in mind, that's different. But usually, your clients hire you for your eye anyway. So most times, they'll be happy with what you choose. So far, it's 11 30. I gotta hurry up now. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna brighten up under her eye. And it's just a really light brush. Super light. And something I always do is um, on the eyes, I'll bring it up, bring the opacity up a little bit. Um, I'll always go over the catch light and around the iris a little bit. And then I will darken the rim of the iris. This is something I first learned from Tosh, of Icon Tosh. How many ever years ago that was? <laughs> when I sat in on there, I um, did one of their workshops when they came to Houston. That was a cool time. I met some nice people that I still connect with today. And I go around the lash line. Yeah, so you can see how that changed. Clean up a little bit of lipstick here. How I don't want to do that. There's so many ways to deal with, you know, these images. Like, there's so many different options of how you can make changes. So it's really up to you. I don't want to do this. Mm -mm -mm. Sometimes these changes are so subtle, I don't even know if I did anything. But. Straighten that up a little bit. It's easy to be like a perfectionist and get caught up. Like I know that real retouchers spend hours on images with, you know, um, dodging and burning, and, um, whatever they do. That's not me. If I'm trying to get out a gallery of like 60 plus images. There's no way <laughs> I can spend that much time on a single image. So do what works. This is it. So yeah, if there's something that catches my eye or draws my eye, I'll just go back and make little adjustments as I go. Oh, okay. There's some parts in her hair that I want to adjust. And there's light peeking through. I want the light. 
like the peek through. Not right there. So. If y'all know why my uh, Photoshop is so bootleg with these missing pixels every once in a while, let me know. Shoot. Do, I'll bring my brush back. Uh -uh, bring the brush back down to about five percent. Enlarge it a little bit and just go over. Oh, it was too much. Go over her cheekbone. Oh, you know what I did? I always do that, where I bring down the opacity of the layer instead of the brush. I'm not sure how I managed to do that, but there you have it. Okay. I'm gonna put cheek a little bit. And do here. And then I'll darken a bit and do here. the shadow of her arm and highlight like I said it's real blue leg edits but works for me I think I'm done Adjustment under here. Hi. <laughs> Hi, buddy. It is past the eleven. No. <laughs> okay. Well, that's that. Let me know what you think. <laughs>